Good morning guys. What an incredible view. It's seven o'clock in the morning and today we go to probably one of the most famous bridge in the world, one of the most beautiful as well. But it's also the most secret place because very few people know where is this bridge. Everybody has seen this bridge in picture but very few of us know where exactly it is and I want to bring you there today. It's like an hour and a half away in the middle of the mountain so we have to leave early. Let's go. Alright guys, we made it! It's extremely, extremely busy. Look at this. So they increased the price to 850,000 dong. Hello! Two tickets. This one is without food and this one the combo with food. Look how busy it is. Super busy. We got an ice egg coffee and then we go up. Wow guys, there is like a massive line to get to the cable railway. It's so busy. I have to be honest, as soon as me and Alex saw this line, we kind of panicked. I was like, man, what we got ourselves into? So we were actually considering to leave, maybe to sell our tickets outside and just leave because we didn't expect so many people. But then actually the line was not that bad because after about like 20 minutes waiting, we were able to jump on the cable car. And after that, everything was kind of smooth. So if you see a big crowd of people, don't get panicked like me. They actually manage it pretty well. Nice. So this cable car is gonna take 70 minutes uh, otherwise you can drive and take the regular road and it's gonna take 55 minutes to arrive up to Bana Hill. It looks amazing. The Bana cable car opened on the 29th of March 2013 and it holds the world record for the longest non-stop single track cable car at 5,000 801 meters. The hill station is located at an elevation of 1,485 meters and it's 42 kilometers away from Da Nang city. And in 2021, Bana Hills added their sixth cable car to the park. So you actually have six cable cars to go up and down Bana Hills and they're very fast and very smooth. So they organize it extremely, extremely well. And this is so busy. Even though it's super busy, it's, it's really beautiful. One, two, three, four. Their time. The Jardin de la France. So Bana Hills Golden Bridge, is it worth the hype? Is it worth coming here and visit? 
I would say so, man. Yeah, of course, it's a bit expensive. It's like 30, 35 dollars, 850,000 Vietnamese dong. But it's beautiful here. The bridge is like stunning. It's amazing. Also, all these gardens with the flower, with the statues, they're, they're really, really beautiful. And some people complain that this place is very artificial, it's fake, it's just a copy of Europe. But it really comes down to your expectations. If you come here expecting to see like history, art and you think you are in italy or you are in france or like some historical place of course you will be disappointed but if you see it more like a, an amusement park something closer to disneyland than to rome or paris then i think you will have a great time and you will enjoy that one right there is danang And also this park has been created with the Vietnamese customers in mind and many of the Vietnamese people they don't have the chance to come to Europe to visit Italy or France in their lifetime so that's a really great experience for them to kind of feel the European vibe and also be in the mountains where the temperature is cooler and you have this nice architecture so you have to keep that in mind as well and overall there is a great atmosphere so I dig it mm -hmm. so we have just seen this part so far and we still have to see all this part it's massive and here there is a roller coaster as well. All right, so now we're gonna get another cable to the French village. All right guys, we made it to the French village area. I have to admit this area, it's a little bit fake because it's really like a copy of the European style, like French, Italian, but uh, still it's nice, you know. But the first part down there was really, really nice. And here I think they also have a show, so hopefully we can catch a show soon. Yeah, I think this is like too much. It's like a church with Jesus, but it's like completely fake and without any spirit. Yeah, Bana Hills, this is too much. <laughs> you cross the line now. Everybody's like laying down, like no respect at all for the church. Even though it's not a church, you know, it's just a, a copy of it. But uh, yeah, it's lacking any religious spirit. Bye. Just one is enough to win one big banana. Oh. 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 So just one shot and you will win like the massive banana. Oh. Oh. Almost. 100,000 dong for three shots. Ay, 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 ay. Last one. Another hundred thousand for three shots. We want to win the banana. Five. Five. Oh. Look at this. It's like oval. It's not circle. This is like the Germany area. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> YouTube, you know YouTube? Try, try. It's 
say bye bye here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. We would like to do the roller coaster here, but the line is like massive. It goes all the way down there. No camera? Okay. Vamos! So we were waiting the show at 2 p.m. but today there is no show. They had one at 10 30 in the morning but the 2 p.m. one they cancelled it. So that's it. Ah. Like this can. One game for me. Yes, one game in 50. Thank you. <laughs> Enough. Please. Throw here or throw here. Sure. Or throw here. Yes. Two by your side, we win. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Throw here or throw here. Ah, yes. you didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of Bana Hill and Golden Bridge. Let me know in the comments below if you've been here before, or maybe you are planning to come. My personal opinion is that it's worth it. I mean, it was beautiful, especially the bridge. A little bit too crowded. There were like too many people and it's a little bit uh, hot and also a little bit stressful with so many people around. But the cable that goes up and down the mountain, it's amazing. The view is spectacular and the nature also is very beautiful and the golden bridge also is really really nice up in the french village it's okay it's very unique if you've never been to europe it's it's really nice because you have a feel of europe but of course if you're from europe like me it's you know everything is kind of a copy of europe of france germany italy but it was a nice experience and also the roller coaster down the mountain was was a lot of fun so was it worth it I would say so, yeah, I really had a good time and I really enjoy it. and I recommend you to come here at least once in a lifetime and experience this Bana Hill. Was it worth like $36? It's a bit expensive, but I would say so, it's still worth it. So if you have the chance to come, just check it out. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've been here and also your thoughts about this place. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.